welcome back to my channel. Today I have some really fun DIYs using items from Hobby Lobby. So last week I stopped in Hobby Lobby and they were having a huge 75% off store-wide clearance and just walking through the store um, just in the normal aisles they had a lot of their really nice normal decor already clearance down to 75%. You just had to look for the orange stickers that were on each little decor piece. So it was so much fun walking through the store and trying to find some decor pieces that I could transform into something else. So stay tuned for this video. It was so much fun using some different items that were a lot higher quality than using items from Dollar Tree. I think that Hobby Lobby will just offer this until um, they sell out of all their clearance items. So make sure that you do stop by your Hobby Lobby so you can see what kind of sales that your local store has. I am excited to show you all what I picked up from my Hobby Lobby and how I transformed it into something new that I would love and something that would fit my home and my personal style. I wanted to go ahead and show you everything that I picked up even though I won't be changing everything like these metal flowers. I thought they were cute for a bathroom and I'll just leave them as is. This little photo frame on a stand, I thought it would be perfect for a craft show, setting up and uh, displaying the price. This large wooden hello was only a couple dollars and I can definitely sand off the glitter and repaint that. I picked up this metal wire shelf. I thought this would be really cute redone and put in a bathroom. And then I also, I didn't like what was on this sign, uh, but this was only $6.49 for this piece that had the beautiful frame around the edges and I definitely knew that I could redo that. I also found this beautiful little half windmill on a pallet sign and I had looked at this for a long time but then I seen it marked down to around $12 so I had to get it. I know that you can't even get the windmill piece for that price. And then there was a couple little signs that I'm going to leave as is but this one that says life is better with a cat. I did want to change this up because we don't have a cat at this time. And then I found this beautiful little kind of tobacco woven basket and it looks like it hangs on the wall that you would put flowers in. So I definitely had an idea to use for that. So make sure that you stay tuned and see how I transform some of these items into some new decor. So the first thing that I'm going to be making over is this basket. And like I say, I think you just hang this on a wall and I think maybe it's meant to put flowers in. You could also maybe put like fake vegetables in it. I'm not really sure, but um, this I got this for $9.99. It was originally $39.99, which I thought was a really good deal. And I have been needing something in my laundry room so bad to put my lint in. So I thought this would work really good. I wanted to try to attempt to turn it into something that would hold the lint. So I wanted to add a little sign. I had this pack of wood pieces for a while with these little square wood planks. And these are perfect for small little crafts and DIYs. I picked these up for Walmart for just a couple dollars. And um, I wanted to add this as a sign on top of the basket. So I did paint that with my white Waverly chalk paint. And then I dry brushed just a little bit of my elephant gray color over the top of that. I am obsessed with all things greenery right now, so I definitely have been adding that into all of my crafts. Um, I'm still using some of these little greenery sprigs off of some Target uh, bunches of greenery that I had gotten a while back in the dollar spot. So I hope that they do come out with some more of that, um, but I just glued them at the top. And then Dollar Tree has some of these white cherry blossoms that I think are so pretty. And I just glued one of those in the center and I loved it, so I do use this on a project later on too. And then I just wanted a freehand really pretty the word lint and I'm going to hang this. I don't have a dedicated laundry room. My washer and dryer are just kind of in a hallway space um, so I have a very small area and every time that I take the lint out of my dryer I have to go put it in the bathroom uh, trash can so I just thought that this would be a fun way to hang on the wall and be decorative but also really functional. So I just painted that on there and put a little heart as the eye. Um, I might go back and fix the end because hanging on the wall it almost looks like it's an R so I do want to fix that. And I wanted to put a little bit of a trash bag in there or some kind of like a grocery bag hidden in there so it will hold my lint and it won't get the basket dirty. But I wanted to hide that because you can see through this basket. So I am using some burlap. I always buy the wedding rolls from Walmart. And I cut that down to cover the front so you cannot see through it. And then I'll be able to stick my little bag down inside. 
I just hot glued my sign at the top and this was so easy but made such a huge change and like I say made this really functional. I just set the burlap in there for now. I didn't even glue it down. It just took the shape of the basket really nicely. And then uh, same goes for the bag. I didn't have to attach it in any way. It just stood up on its own. So for now, that is just how I'm going to put it together. But I love how you cannot see the bag and I will be able to put my ugly lint in there, but still in a pretty decorative piece. The next piece I'm going to be using is the small sign that says life is better with a cat. This was reduced down to $2.99. I thought it was a really good price. It has the beautiful uh, wooden frame on the edges. So I wanted to be able to paint the center. And this is so much more nice quality than using Dollar Tree items um, for just $2.99. It's something that I feel like will last a lot longer and it does stand up by itself and it's really nice quality. So the first thing that I did is I wanted to save the wooden edges. So I just taped all of that off and then painted over uh, the writing that was on there with some of my white Waverly chalk paint. I always struggle with painter's tape, which I think this is just the Dollar Tree cheap painter's tape. Maybe that's what's making a huge difference, but it just seems like after you paint it, it always gets underneath there or it wants to rip off. So if you have any tips for that, let me know down below. Um, I wanted to use my poster letters from Dollar Tree on this project. I have just been in love with using these letters. They are so much easier than trying to trace and paint everything. So I just measured with a ruler so I could get these straight. And then I spelled out the words bless. And then I just freehanded our home underneath to make a pretty little sign. And these can be totally customizable and say anything you want. But I just thought that these were really neat to transform it into something that I would like to put in like my living room. I loved that little piece that I added to the lint basket. So I did the same exact thing there. These will be in different rooms, so it doesn't matter that they match uh, like this, but I thought this was so pretty and such an upgrade from what it started. Walking through Hobby Lobby, I was so excited whenever I found this shelf and that was one of the first places I wanted to go check were these shelves and I was really hoping for a wood shelf or a darker brown shelf, but I found this one that was originally $34.99 that I got for $9.99. I thought that was a really good price and it definitely had a lot of potential to turn this into something that I would love. So the first thing I did was take some of this matte brown spray paint. I love the Rust-Oleum brand and I'm just coating this in a couple coats of this spray paint. I don't have a lot of wall space for decor in my bathroom, so when I do need something functional like a shelf, I do want to make it really pretty and add the decor onto the shelf. So I thought this shelf would also be really pretty with a sign attached to the top. So um, I just cut a palette board and I think I cut it down to about 11 inches. I give it a couple coats of my uh, white chalk paint and then I am taking the elephant paint and just dry brushing it. And you can see that this sign definitely looks different from the one on the lint. Um, dry brushing is everything. You can just trade it up. But I added a lot more around the edges to make this one look a little bit more rustic. I'm also using my uh, poster stickers again from Dollar Tree to spell out the word bath. You could Mod Podge over this. I didn't think about that whenever I was doing this, so I might go back and do it. But here I show you a, a little bit of how I styled it. I love how it turns out and I think it's really cute. So thank you all so much.
much for watching today. I had so much fun actually using Hobby Lobby's like higher end decor, even though it was clearance down. Some of these items were once really expensive, but it is a lot of fun getting to take things that are especially more high quality than Dollar Tree items and being able to transform them as well. Because everything in the Hobby Lobby doesn't fit my style, but they always do have uh, some clearance in the back as well, even when it's not store wide. So you definitely can keep an eye out for things that you can transform into decor that you love. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Bye.